We'll have a look at how we can access student reports in this video. Now when you log in, you'll come to this parent centre or home page here to get really detailed information about your kids' progress. What we can do is go over to this student section here. Now for any of your kids, you can click on this view profile button. Now this gives you access to a whole host of information here. It opens initially to this detailed report page and you're able to get a PDF copy of this report. Now you can choose whether you have this emailed to you or whether you download the PDF straight from the site. Now this report breaks up your kids' work lesson by lesson, so you can really see exactly how they're doing. Now we'll have a look at some of the information you can get from here. We have a look at this first column here. This gives us the mark they got on their first attempt at a set of questions. Now this second one shows the highest mark they got, how many attempts they had at a set of questions here, and then lastly, how many attempts it took them to reach their pass mark. Now for Marcus, that pass mark is 80%. Now if we move back to the left, this first column here, this colour-coded one, this is called the efficiency rating. And just to explain how this one works, we might have a look at this particular example here, where Marcus had an efficiency rating of 93%. Now if we look at his results in the questions, the first attempt he got 90%. Now as a result, it only took him one attempt to reach his pass mark. Remember that was 80%. Now Marcus continued persevering with the questions. He actually had two more goes, giving him three attempts in total until he got that perfect score there of 100%. Now that's something I'd really recommend you encourage with your kids. Try to get them to keep working to get that perfect score as often as possible. Now to see how we got this efficiency rating here of 93. Well effectively, we've taken the average mark of his three scores over the questions. Now we have given a slightly higher weighting to this first attempt here of 90, just to give you a bit of a clearer picture as to how your kids were going after their first viewing of the video. Now if you look at the top here, the start of each topic or each unit of work, you can see we've also got the results there for any diagnostic tests that your kids have done. Now an interesting feature here, if we have a look at this particular result, for some reason Marcus's efficiency rating is only 30%. Now that's quite a deal lower than any of his other results and that's going to affect his overall grade. Now what we can do if we go to the top here, you'll see we've got this edit mode. At the moment that's switched to off. Well if we turn that on, we can move down to that lesson and if we click this red box here, you'll see that that lesson has been deleted. Completely gone now so that doesn't affect his results anymore. So that means that Marcus can go back into that, have another go at that set of questions, hopefully do a lot better, and then his overall grade won't be affected. Now before we move on, we'll just go up here, make sure we turn that edit mode back to off, and then we'll go over here and have a look at the summary report tab. Now this is an excellent way of getting an overview as to how your kids are going at completing topics or units of work. We can see here these first three topics, almost all the lessons completed there, next two topics completely finished and so on. Now down the middle, we've got the average mark for all of the questions in each topic. Now that's colour coded to make life nice and easy for you. And over on the side here, you'll see we've also got the results for any diagnostic tests. Now if we want a better idea as to how your kids are going with them, you can go to the top, click on the Diagnostic Test tab. So we can get some more details here. If we have a look down, we can see that Marcus has finished three diagnostic tests. And over here we've got his results in this Topic Mastery column. Now they're colour-coded yellow and orange, which is usually a bit of a danger colour. The reason that Marcus has struggled in these though, it's because he's completed the diagnostics at the very start of each unit of work. It's a really handy way of doing these because it gives you a good idea as to whether there's any areas that you really need to focus on when going through a unit. Now if we move over here and just click on any of these tests, this gives us access to an excellent report here. You can see it breaks the diagnostic up lesson by lesson with their results in each individual lesson down the middle here. Now once again colour coded to make life easy, so these ones colour-coded blue, well he got 100% in them, so he probably doesn't need to focus too carefully on those areas. But these ones here that are red or orange, or even more so, the ones where Marcus got zero. When he's going through this unit of work, he needs to make sure he really carefully views this video and works his way slowly through those questions. Now we'll click on the Tasks tab next. Now there's a separate video you can watch that shows you how to set these tasks. 
but this video gives you a good idea as to how your kids are going working through them. So we can see down here, Marcus has finished 11 out of the 12 tasks that have been set. Nine of the tasks were finished on time. Two of them were finished, but a little bit late. And then he's got one task still to finish off. Now, like all things, this is color-coded to make it as easy as possible. If we look down this column here, these light gray bars, well, they're the tasks that were finished, but were just finished a little bit late or beyond the due date. These dark gray or black ones here, they were finished on time. And then down the bottom here, this blank one, well, that's the task that still has to be completed. Now, on the right-hand side here, you can see the results for each individual task. Now, if we move up the top and we check this box here, Display Lesson Results, you can see this gives you a more detailed overview as to how your kids have gone in each task. It breaks them up one task at a time. And we can really clearly see how they went with each individual lesson. Now, we'll move up at the top and we can see any awards that our kids have received as well. So we can see a gold award here, and you're able to print them off if you'd like copies of them. We'll have a look at the speed skills next. Now these are a really fun way of sharpening up your basic math skills. I actually know a lot of parents who like to have a go at these ones themselves. We can see these results down the side here. Well, they're the top score achieved in each of these levels. Now we can also access our kids' history. So this gives us access to two tabs. The quick finish one here, this one's really handy. Just gives you an idea if there's any lessons where your kids have started working through the questions but not finished them yet. Now all that they need to do is log into that lesson and when they start working through the questions, previous ones have already been saved, so they just kick off from where they left off. Now we can also view their timeline here. And here we can see their most recent user history. So what lessons they've viewed, questions they've attempted and so on. Now the last thing we'll have a look up up here is this weekly revision tab. Now once again there's another video showing how we can use these weekly revisions but just quickly having a look here we can see that Marcus has finished four of these revision tasks and we've got his marks down the right here really simply color coded again for you. Blue means they got a question right, red means they got a question wrong. And if we hold the cursor over any individual question here you'll see it gives us a quick view of the question which is an excellent way of checking up to see if your kids are having trouble with a particular type of question or maybe a particular topic. Well, hopefully that all makes sense. I'm sure you'll agree there's a lot of really useful information there that you can use to help really track your kids' progress and help their growth in mathematics. Now, in this day and age, with more and more emphasis being placed on data and analysis of results, I'm sure you'll also find this makes your life a lot easier.